goodies i'm back with another banger i'm going to show you how to make nigerian catfish pepper soup with some yams and bitter leaf i have got two catfish that has been cleaned and washed the best way to make your to wash your catfish is to use hot water boiling water because that way it will make sure that it doesn't break apart when you make your pepper soup but hey wait <laughs> you don't do that for this recipe we are going to marinate it first so this recipe is the one you make and eat immediately you don't keep it right and you don't cook it for long and it is so good i have gone in with some salt and i am going to add some dried chili pepper some red pepper flakes stock cubes paprika and of course some thyme and curry any marinade you have available but don't forget to keep it simple hello my name is joy if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a clip now i am using the sonia chicken seasoning tomato mix and it's so good it's one of the secret of this my signature catfish pepper soup yes but in case you do not have that available just add some tomato ketchup about a teaspoon or so mix everything together set it aside for about two three hours or overnight it's even better and then we will proceed and start making our pepper soup So let me introduce you to the rest of my ingredients. I got some ginger, garlic, onions, and of course I got some yellow pepper and some hot habanero pepper. You can use more or less. <laughs> I have a guest in the house and she doesn't take so much. I would have used more. So blend, roughly blend everything together using a food processor or pound it. We are also going to go ahead and process our yams as well. If you do not have yams available, you can make this recipe with some potatoes, not sweet potatoes, all right, or some unripe plantain. I've cut my yams and I'll wash that and set aside as well. So here is my fresh bitter leaf. It has been washed. I just want to show you. I am going to go ahead and wash it until all the bitterness is out. And how I make my bitter leaf, don't just wash and dunk. <laughs> into your pepper soup it will be very bitter wash it and i cooked it with for about two three minutes with some baking powder to remove to retain the beautiful green color and also to remove the rest of the bitterness so you just want it slightly bitter okay so now we have started making i've started making my pepper soup <laughs> so in a pot i added that's my son I don't know what he's doing <laughs> thank you Jojo come here mommy is voicing all right so I added some pepper and to the yam the pepper mix and then some stock cube here I have my pepper soup seasoning spice and I am using the stove one and these are the ingredients you can see it has everything the uda seed Uziza, Benny, Negro pepper, garlic, ginger, and everything in it. It smells amazing. So this makes life easy. Add about two teaspoons of that or any quantity you are comfortable with. I'm going to taste for salt and I will add a weeny little bit. So I tasted for the pepper as well. I am not so comfortable. I want it to be spicier than it is. So I'm going to go in with some Cameroon pepper. <laughs> and Cameroon pepper has its own unique flavor. So mix all of that and we will cover and let the yams cook for about 10 minutes. Ten minutes later. This is exactly what we want. You're going to go ahead and add enough quantity of water. Just um, eyeball it. If you want more water in your soup, fine. If you want less, it's okay. So now we're dropping our marinated fish 
one piece at a time into this uh, rich, delicious, simple but tasty broth. Hey, Vovo, can you stop? Stop playing with the drawer. <laughs> come on, come here. Good boy. So now I rinsed out the bowl of my marinated fish because that is flavor and we are going to add into our pot. So I'm just trying to make sure I remove some of the yams and so that the fish can go and under and cook fast. Once this is done, cover and let this cook on medium heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is what we have absolutely amazing. My friends and family, this smells so good. I don't know if there's any benefit to catfish, but I do know that it is tasty. But it's something I like to take like two times or once a month and I'm okay with it. Now add your bitter leaf. You can add as little or as much as you want. That's the end product of my cooked bitter leaf and I tell you this is a whole meal on its own. If you're looking to lose weight and you want to eat your dinner light, you can just have two or three pieces of yam with your pepper soup, with your catfish and the broth and it will facilitate your weight loss if you want to reduce some inches on your stomach, you want to take care of cold, um, you have some running nose and everything. This is just amazing. <laughs> I hope you give this recipe a try because trust me you will absolutely love it it's time to serve and it's time to enjoy allow me to enjoy myself so yeah i hope to see you in my next video make sure you like this video and make sure you share this video as well and see you in my next video bye